Today we continue with part 26 of our Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers. So we try to delete a user when a user has several posts or have some posts. What happens when you delete an entity that has child entities or reference child entities? A number of things can happen. You can remove all the child entities. Uh, you can also uh, remove this user and cite the, 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 the parent of those children to null. So we have all these theories. For me, I'm not a good guy in theories. I actually, um, I'm a researcher, so I actually do so much theories in my studies, but when it comes to programming, I like to be clear to my subscribers. Now your assignment is for you to read all these and understand it. Let's focus on casket type dot all. In this case, the operation is propagated from parent to all the child entities. If you delete, a user, that delete operation is propagated to all the posts and all the posts is going to be deleted. So we are going to put cascade type.all. But where? Where do we put this cascade type.all? Cascade type.all is an attribute of a one-to-many relationship. So all those many children, one user, many posts. So we are going to now put the cascade type.all in the one-to-many side of the user post relationship. So we are going to go to user and in the one to many, in the one to many, which is annotating the posts uh, field, we just put uh, in the one to many annotating the posts field. So let's go to this one to many player here. So simply say uh, cascade. Cascade equals equal to cascade type dot all. That is what you should do. So it's going to cascade the operation to all the child entities of Java persistence. Cascade type finish. All right. So at this point is as simple as that. So let's go now to to delete, to try to repeat the delete operation again for user and see it works. So I'm going to run this as an exercise for you. Uh, try out other cascade types and let me know uh, in the comment box below what the outcome is. I think I've mixed up some things here. Okay, so let's go to try to repeat the delete operation. All right, so I'm going to just send the repeat the delete operation again. And at this point, you are going to see that it deletes the user and if you check, all the posts for that user has been deleted. So to verify, if you go to A2 and you go to user run. So if you go to user run, so user one have been deleted. And most likely post one, which was made by user one, has also been deleted, as you can see right here. Okay, so we are going to now be moving to part 20, it should be part 27, part 28, maybe 27, how to delete a location. I'd like to recommend you try to do it yourself and um, before we now do it together. So that should be part 27, actually not part 28.